I very rarely get offended on other people's behalf, but for once I'm offended on behalf of the normal, decent, working-class people of Wales. And that's shocking, isn't it? Because most of my Welsh videos on here are anti-Wales. And they're not anti-Wales in the context that I hate Wales altogether. That isn't the case at all. Wales is a beautiful country. Some of the people speak Welsh, which is a beautiful language, as I do. But unfortunately, just like every other place these days, it has a, a top-tier, uh, snobbish society of middle-class champagne socialists. These are the celebrities, these are the politicians, and these are the university-educated types who have... I mean, every... A uh, learned institution, higher learning institution in Wales is a cesspit of anti-English uh, bigotry and they're all for pro-Welsh independence. Of course we all know that's a fallacy. Welsh independence means going back into the EU so it's, and it's an oxymoron. And the Welsh socialists are the most insufferable. Imagine they're all basically the same as Michael Sheen, that insufferable hypocritical Welsh woke actor and David Ewan is one of them. Now he tweeted this and it angered me. It really did anger me this because his career, his celebrity has been hanging on just one song, one flash in the pan, one hit wonder which has been used since the 80s for anti-English sentiment and that's what it is. It's anti-English in nature. It is a song I believe based on hatred and vitriol. And if you don't know who David Iwan is, he came to prominence uh, recently during the World Cup in the Middle East, where they dug him up. He's getting on in age now, and they used his song as the anthem for the uh, failed <laughs> Welsh Football World Cup campaign. And it is a catchy song. I'm a Welsh speaker. I understand the words. I was brought up in a Welsh nationalist area in Bethesda, North Wales, back in the 80s. And all my teachers are Welsh nationalists, and they hailed this guy as some sort of demigod. But of course, the more I grew up, the uh, the more I saw through this um, this joke. So anyway, this is what he says, and I'm going to read it in Welsh first, just to impress you, all right? Then I'll translate. He says, My wedi dod in silw vod ymo o hyd, his song, yn cael ei ddefnyddio gan bobl sy'n gwrthwynebu rhoi catref i geiswyr lloches. Os gwelwch yna, peidiwch. Now what that means is it has been brought to my notice that a Mawahid is used by groups opposing the housing of asylum seekers. This must stop. Well, pardon me now, Mr. One Hit Wonder. People paid for your song. You have made a lot of money thanks to people buying your song. So I think people can use it whatever and whenever they damn well like. Even for me personally, it's worked wonders when I've been constipated and I've listened to your song to induce a shit. And this is just yet another example of out of touch uh, lefty woke celebrities in Wales like David Iwan, who don't give a fig about the valid legitimate concerns of the ordinary working class people who don't want Wales to be a sanctuary nation. Now, if you think the English were detrimental and oppressive towards Welsh culture and language, then you ain't seen nothing yet. I will bet you good money that the uh, people in Wales using this song for what he is saying is against the housing of asylum seekers. They probably feel that they're not getting a fair roll of the dice by the left-wing Welsh government. It has even been brought to my attention that there are people in my, uh, I would say, home village, but it's not, never was my home, uh, Bethesda, which is the festering boil on the arse of Wales. There are local businessmen there who have been advertising or putting out that they want cheap labour and documentation is not necessary. What does that tell you? So much for jobs for local people. Of course, this could be the intention all along. Rich Welsh people wanting very, very cheap foreign labour. So it's quite apparent really that this is the sort of thing that David Ewan uh, supports. And so much for his song being used for the alleged oppression of the poor Welsh people, whereas now it's being used to encourage more illegal migration. It's disgusting, isn't it? This really does anger me. 
And people like David Ewan should know who the hell put him where he is today. Bloody Welsh nationalist. I told you. I told you for years, folks. You can't trust them. These people do not have the welfare of Wales in their hearts, but it's something far more sinister. Nothing angers me and makes me far more passionate for what I do than uh, than some, some bloody Welsh nationalists. They really do grind my gears, them lot, I tell you. Anyway, that's my video. Let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next time, Roger Trout.